Hey pumpkins, this video is by request, kind of, sort of, as even though I haven't been posting a lot, when I do post, I often get comments and questions from my uh, subscribers asking if I'm doing okay and wondering how I am. And that's understandable because 2022 was a rough year for me. However, 2023 is much, much better. You may recall that I did a uncrossing ritual uh, end of 2022, and that was really powerful. Uh, if you're interested in doing an uncrossing ritual for yourself, uh, you can get a kit through queencityconjure.com. I'll leave a link to that below. But yeah, um, such a change. So I altered it a bit from the original ritual, and um, I did it as a seven day alchemy and had almost immediate results. Um, things got better very quickly. So I am a live-in caregiver now in downtown Toronto. I work for a lovely couple. They have a big, beautiful house in downtown Toronto. I'm in a very safe, good neighborhood across the road from me. There's a um, well-known, famous Canadian politician. My employer is a retired lawyer and retired uh, politician, both on the federal and provincial level. They have always had dogs. However, because of their declining health, they can't have dogs right now. So they're really enjoying having Merlin here. Um, Merlin's thriving and doing so well. Here, I'll switch the... There he is, laying on the bed. My little Merlin. <laughs> He's such a good boy. He is four now and he has matured into really, really a lovely dog. Um... My salary is higher than I have ever had before. Um, I, I'm i not yet able to save a lot because there, there have been a lot of things that have been neglected. And yeah, I'm treating myself to the occasional tarot deck, but I'm not being stupid with my money. However, um, there were a lot of people who helped me out and uh, without asking for anything in return, friends who, you know, put me up in their home for weeks or months and I was able to just like give them 500 bucks and it's like, here, thank you. Um, I am so grateful to everyone who helped. I'm able to do things like, I'm able to do things like I'm getting my sister moved in two weeks and I got glasses that are in the mail and like I've had to stop reading because I can't see the page anymore. There's nothing you know wrong with me. I'm just getting older and I need glasses. Um, and I've had glasses for a while, but now I really need them. So they're in the mail because I haven't been able to afford them. Um, I'm going to the dentist soon. Um, I'm going to go to the uh, Toronto School of Dentistry because it's a bit cheaper. I, you know, I'm making a good salary, but I'm not rich yet. Um, I'm able to afford a lawyer. Um, you may recall that uh, I was terrorized and harassed by a former landlord and uh, he continues to harass me up until this week. Um, he's now started posting on my Google Photos um, and all he's doing is leaving me evidence. So there's a piece of evidence that I missed um, and uh, yeah. Thank you, because <laughs> um, I now have that. So yeah, he's uh, he's calling me names and he's uh, pointing out that while he when he uh, uh, disconnected the dishwasher that there were dishes in the sink because he disconnected the dishwasher. Um, uh, apparently, I forgot to flush once and he <laughs> he took a photo of that and put it on my Google Photos. So thank you for continuing to harass me and strengthening my case. Um, so yeah, all I do is, uh, screenshot and, and timestamp and, uh, and file away to give to the lawyer. Uh, paperwork for that is taking forever to process, but yeah, hopefully it won't be too much longer because, uh, yeah, it's been a year and I'd like to get this, I'd like to get this show on the road. Um, hmm, what else is going on? My love life is still, eh. Um, I've met someone who is quite a bit younger than I am and... If genders were reversed, no one would think twice about someone my a man my age dating a woman his age. He's he's an adult. It's not like I'm dating a child or there's anything nefarious going on. Um, but yeah, like he's uh, and he's quite mature for his age. But at the same point, like there is that power dynamic with me being older. So I'm not sure if that's what I'm looking for. Um, what else is going on in my life? I'm losing weight. Uh, not to be fat phobic or anything, but when I'm overweight, that does have a negative effect on my health. Uh, I am losing weight with doctor um, supervision. My doctor's been on my case about my weight forever. Um, specifically with going up and down the stairs, my knee, my um, my ankles are really hurting because I'm on the third floor. So yeah, I have my own granny flat. 
I don't have to pay rent. I don't have to pay utilities. I have a full bathroom. I have my own kitchenette. Um, my clients can't do stairs. So, I mean, I've got the third floor to myself. Um, I'm in a really good neighborhood. There's lots of shopping around. My daily schedule is pretty lax. Like some days are busy if, if my clients have doctor's appointments uh, or if there's um, my the, the gentleman I work for. He's, he's in his 90s, but he's still very sharp. And um, sometimes he wants to write an article for the paper um, or, or you know he's working on a book and uh, you know computers are a lot and he does remarkably well for being in his 90s with computers but he'll need me to type something and that takes time but otherwise like I have time to go shopping I need to stay in the neighborhood in case he needs me um, but yeah there's a I can't say the word because Merlin's right there a D O G P A R K in the neighborhood there's shopping there's um, cafes and restaurants. I actually have plans with a friend to go for lunch um, after breakfast tomorrow. Um, my client called me at 10 a.m. That's when my day starts, which is kind of awesome. Um, so yeah, I can wake up whenever I want and take Merlin to uh, to the uh, DOG PARK and um, do some writing and uh, work on my tarot business. Um, my priority does need to be my clients, so I do need to stay in the area. And even when I'm recording this video, um, I could get a call from my client and he, he needs something. You know, run to the uh, the pharmacy and get some band-aids or something, like anything can happen. But um, yeah, I'm doing better than I ever have in life. And that's maybe not saying a lot because I've had a difficult life and the bar is pretty low. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing really well. Oh, my financial flex. <laughs> Um, this may be in the t TMI category because I'm going to talk about my underwear, but I didn't have enough clothes to get through the week. Like I only had two bras and neither of them fit properly. And if you're a bigger lady, bras are an investment. Like a bra, it's not unusual, like a good bra for a larger lady to be like 60 to $80. Or even specialty stores will go like $100. So I needed bras. And um, I only had two that didn't fit properly. I now have seven bras. All of them have matching panties. Like, to own seven bras? <laughs> that is a flex. Um, yeah, that was... That's my, uh, like, I'm baller. <laughs> um, the, the one negative thing that did happen is my father passed away in March. And um, he was a good dad, but my dad and I had a complicated, difficult relationship. And in the days before he passed, um, he... Uh, he and I did a lot of healing and um, I'm not going to cry. Uh, it, it's unfortunate that he did pass. He, um, he was 74 and uh, he'd been a smoker all of his life. And, and um, so I, you know, I kind of knew that as a heavy smoker, he was not going to live to be a, a, you know, a ripe old age. But um, I inherited his van and my, um, my car had died. So I didn't have a vehicle. Um, so yeah, I inherited his van. Uh, well, I think that's it. Like, life is good. But anyways, um, I, uh, I think that I'm, I'm really on the right path now. And, and I look forward to creating more content, engaging more with my subscribers and growing uh, both as a creator and as a person. And I'm thankful that you're on this journey with me. I hope you have a great day, pumpkins, and may you pray with a good fire.